on, guys? Hey, how you, how you doing? doing? What's up, fellas? Hey. Have a seat, man. Okay. Tough loss last night, man. Who you telling, Doc? Yeah, man. Better luck next time. I know you guys are better than that. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, the locker room is not looking good right now. Let me tell you that much. Coach is mad. Boy, is mad. A little relax, man, and take your time. And when you need me, I'll be right behind you. All right. Doc, you ever lose something? Man, yeah. Heart stuff. Socks. Socks? <laughs> <laughs> right. They always come up missing for some reason. I hear that. What about you? I lost my father. Oh, man. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, he went to the, went to the store and never came back. So I got, some, got something to tell you. What? I'm in contact with your father. Oh. Oh, what the hell? You got an email? He's on LinkedIn. Oh, word. He needs a job. I got a chair open. Yeah, but it's complicated. He only likes top ten barbers. Okay, I'm going to rectify the mistake of this beard that I got and just go with some chin hair. Uh, let me change the freaking color of your beard, though. Facial hair color. Oh, there we go. That's better. Uh, let me see. Dark blonde. Yes, yeah, there's dark blonde. And let me see. Let's just go with this chin thing here. A little chin. I'll do it. Chin goatee. You don't recommend it? Well, go ahead and do it anyway. That's what I'm feeling like. That's what I'm feeling like right now. So check it out. Let's do it. I think this one will look great. You ready for this? Let's do it. <clears throat> Perfect, man. Ah, uh, shit, that's what I had beforehand. Man, look at that. are gonna love this one, man. You read my mind. Okay. <laughs> whatever, whatever. All right. Go get him, Jay. Go get him. All right, I've got the hardened badge, and now I'm playing at level 65, so... Now play through fatigue and injury without experience, a severe drop in skill. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and get into a game. Oh, I also got the spark plug badge. Now making a big play when coming off the bench or falling timeouts will energize your teammates. Oh, wonderful. Uh, pro level dribbling, shooting, uh, dunking, and flashy pass animations are now available for you and my player. Oh, okay. All right, all right. You have the ability to perform pre-game rituals. All right, wonderful. Customize your look. Okay, so Foot Locker has now lots more shoes for you to choose from. Wonderful. Let's get into a game. Hey, Boo Boo, how long till the game starts? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Never. This thing is broken. Never. That tells me it's a Rolex and I can't tell the difference, but I guess I can. This Rolex don't work. I should have bought it. A Rolex. <laughs> Let's go. It's the Pacers in Indianapolis. Okay, welcome back, and we're taking on the Indiana Pacers in the uh, Bankers Life Field House. And David Aldridge is standing by. Yeah, thanks, David Aldridge. Next, there's our star. I'm still not starting. Uh, Kyrie Irving, Marcus Smart, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, and Al Horford are the starters. David Collison, Victor. Oh, I can't pronounce some of these names, man. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Get me into the game, coach. Where am I? There I am. Celtics trail by nine. Down by nine already. Morris outside. Shot off a pick. 
Pacers with the rebound. Outplay Man, I gave you a great pick. Schedule, losing to the Raptors. And no doubt that the fight was there, but no matter what they tried on that night, it just wasn't meant to be. They made a positive play here and there, but just couldn't string enough of them together. All right. To series run. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. It's deflected. Robinson with it. Guarded now by Moore. Ah, uh, man, I went too far. <clears throat> Boston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. They set the pick. Here's the monster. Yes. And it's All right. Picking up the assist. Quick two points. The monster's got his first points of the game. Pacers leading by seven. Outside Collison. He feeds it to Jefferson. Goes up on the wing. And no good that time. My board. Now Boston takes it the other way. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Yeah. Oh, come on, dudes. Have to be careful of falling in love with that three. All right, we get the ball back. We're running our asses off. Pretty inaccurate from out there. Sinks the three point. Oh, there we go. That's seven points for Kyrie. Oh, that was Hayward. Look at Irving go to work off the ball screen and his man. He's always alert, constantly scanning the floor for his teammate. And Turner kicks to Collison. Go on, Kyrie. And laid in to finish the break. And now just a two-point pacer lead. Oh, look at that. Irvin just leaked out wonderfully in transition. He's a remarkable decision maker in fast break situations. And the replay is courtesy of under ah. unleash chaos. It was a great sequence from the steal all the way to the finish at the other end. Kicks it to Morris. It's Brown on the wing. To the right side, to the middle. Robinson against Hayward. Passes to the monster. Clock is at three. Oh come on, man! I didn't. How the hell do you miss that? Why didn't I dunk? I tried to dunk. In terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. Get out of here! Rejection. Hayward with the ball. Robinson picks him up, and it's sent back by Turner. Outside Robinson. There's the pass to Turner. Turner with a screen on Morris. Robinson for three. A rebound by the Celtics. 156 left to play in the first quarter. Morris outside. Irving with it. 26 points for him last game against Orlando. To the inside. So the whistle ah. goes on the shot with two free throws for the contact right there. And where have the shots been coming from? All right, let's go. Here's a work broken down by paint, mid range, and three point shot attempt so far. There we go. And not a lot of teams can be successful with a focus on the mid-range game but but these guys make that a focal point a little the early defense. but we're good oh, all right opportunities this season from 10 to 20 feet out. four points so and on one board so far wells is checked in for the celtics terry rogier comes in for urban shoot couldn't get around the guy man did you see the screen that was set for him i mean that was how he got to the hoop. It was the classic screen play. It won't show up in the box score, but that screen deserves an assist. Oh, yeah. Incredible teamwork there. A play you perfect only by practicing it until you're blue in the face. To the left side wing. Here's the monster. The shot. No good. So oh, my gosh, man. Come on. And guys, this is the first they're seeing a I don't, I don't understand how you miss layups. This guy's like parking underneath here, man. Come on. No, no. Oh. Come on, let's go, team. Wells kicks to Morris. Down low. And it's going to be a three-second call. Lee check in for the Pacers. Austin okay. The I thought I started outside of the zone, but 
All right. Indiana leading by five. And the Celtics franchise with the league-leading 17 NBA championships, their last in 2008. Yeah, and with the talent and assets they possess, uh, they might be in the hunt for banner number 18 before you know it. One of the oh, good shot, man. East, without question. Young is up there with Miles Turner. Down by it's seven. Robinson, then it's Robinson, and it's Jefferson in at the five. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Looking to end the run. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, among the most feared one-on-one -on -one scores in the league, that is Kyrie Irving. He has the handles to get to wherever he wants, no matter where he is on the floor. He's a threat. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And Kyrie Irving sniffing that 50, 40, 90 territory, 50% from the field, 40% from deep, 90% from the line. He is that kind of shooter. And Chris, what a handle. Three-pointer. Just a stationary threat. This is creativity combined with that efficiency. That's what makes him so dead. Pass to Hayward. Here's the monster defended by Jefferson. The monster. And the oh my goes to the freaking. Ah. Jefferson's got his third rebound tonight. Outside Robinson. Collison against Irving. Turner with the screen. Off the pick. And that one's good. His second pass. How was that mine? Shooting 50%. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Count it and the pace All right. has been cut down now to just eight points with the basket from the monster. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. Turner dishes to Collison. And Indiana, another three. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And Al Horford, a cornerstone player. Chris, he's that straw that certainly stirs the drink. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know he's a winner. I mean, anybody uh, can remember his career from his days at the University of Florida where he won a championship. And Al Horford, just so versatile. You know, that extends to the defensive end as well. Very mobile, can move his feet with smaller players, and at the same time, gives you a presence on the interior. And Young kicks to Jefferson. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Jefferson's got the lead up to 11 now for Indiana. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Young with the steal. Now the Pacers moving it up. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. To the paint. And Drop. All right, and one. One more at the free throw line. Okay. Hopefully won't wow you with his athleticism. But, but Greg, he's still a pretty good shot blocker. He has great timing, anticipation, and awareness. All Don't right. Forget also, he's got terrific hands. Converted and one. That's that good. All the steals he racks up. Irving against Collison. Turner with the screen. And Young kicks to Jefferson. Ah. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Jefferson's got 10 points in the game. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. No good from the monster. And they've got mm. a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Young passes to Jefferson. He can't get that one. Give me that board. Boston the other way. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling in. Put it up. Don't miss. Oh, you suck. You're missing that wide open three four man. Young sets a screen for Collison. Six on the shot clock. Indiana needs to get a shot off. 
Robinson for three. Hayward grabs the board. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Now, Irving gets hot in no time. One of the most decorated scores in the league. Pacers leading by seven. Outside Collison. He dishes it to Young. Screen by Jefferson. Here's Turner. An easy layup after coming off the pick. Turner's got four points now in the quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye opening. So it's Indiana in All control right. with a nine-point lead to end the quarter from beyond the arc. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Hope I get back in the game. Uh, nine points, two rebounds, and one block shot. Man, i got to get more rebounds. I don't want to worry about the rest. All right, yeah, okay. Let's go. Now the second half. Just chilling. Just chilling. All right, let's get back in. Third quarter. Al Jefferson's checked in for Miles Turner. Sabonis comes in for Young. Robinson's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Lance Stevenson subbed in for Jaron Collison. On the court right now for the Celtics. Morris is out there with the Monster. All right. Then there's Brown. Then there's Wells. And it's Rozier in at the one. A oh, beautiful looking three ball from Rozier. Really expanding his range. Here's Stevenson. And it's Stevenson finishing it off. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. There's the pick. Brown against Robinson. Brown the pass to the monster. Down to five on the shot clock. But oh, pull Jesus. And a big lead that was terrible. Both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Robinson kicks to Sabonis. Indiana moving it around. Stevenson dishes to Oladipo. He used that pick to get in close. Oladipo's got four points. In the mm, we're getting yeah, killed here, man. Field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Here's Wells. <laughs> and one. Shooting a three-point play chance coming up. Hey, you got to respect the strength. Of Wells, terrific at powering through the power and finishing on those hard shots. <sighs> well, Celtics making a switch here. Oh, Shannon. For Boston, they haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. Uh, we Wells just, we just did. Are you missing something? During your career, which player you watching the game? The biggest personalities now in the NBA. Wow, I mean, when you think about the biggest personalities now, I mean, I, I think about a guy like Westbrook. Oh, so what the hell? But his game is so loud that, you know, you, you have to take notice. Uh, Draymond Green, I think he's always been a guy that has never shied away from a microphone or the limelight. He's another guy uh, that comes to mind. And so, and, and, and I think, you know, you always have to look at LeBron just because he garners so much attention, uh, just because what he does is always going to be uh, headline news, that, that he has fun with it. And so those three guys come to mind when I think about the biggest personality. And here we can check out the story. <sighs> He's All been thumbs. fantastic over the last 10 games or so. 17th in free throw shooting. And with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, you put the ball in his hands and he converts at a remarkable rate. And his shooting form at the line has been outstanding. Economical release. Fully extends on the follow through. He can close games for you. Oladipo goes in. And the basket is good. Oladipo's got six Oladipo. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Now, here's Brown, currently averaging almost six points a game. Oh, yeah. Right over here's top. Stevenson. Pass to Sabonis. They set the pick. A floater. The shot will not fall. And you know what? You can't get a better screen. Freeze him up beautifully, but he just fails to capitalize. <laughs> the 
Oh, come on, man. That's one they'll take every single time. Pacers leading by 17. Oladipo outside. Beyond the arc. Sabonis, no good. Give me that board. He's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Brown wide open. He fired. All right. And again, Boston with the triple. Oh, you love to see Brown knock down the three ball, showing great strides and improving his range. Stevenson kicks to Sabonis. The dish to Oladipo. Indiana again. Give me that board. Missing. Well, after he did a couple in the first, he has cooled down a bit here. Hit it. Oh, come on, dude. And the rebounding has been key to their success here tonight. Oh, you're exactly right. It's simple arithmetic. More boards means more possessions, means more opportunities to score. Simple arithmetic. Robinson against Morris. In the corner, it's Stevenson. Six to shoot. Come on, guys. Screen by Jefferson. Off the pick. A second chance effort. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. Come on. I was I was playing the guy shooting the ball. Why would you dink me? Okay, I got another block shot at least. Hayward's checked in for Boston. Here is Stevenson. He has six. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. And it's Turner off the drive. He got right to the Come on, man. Turner's man, we're getting 12. blown out again. And, and some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one could ah. have been any easier. I mean, I don't know whether to say it's amazing or sad, but you're down double digits and you still allow an uncontested layup. Where is the pride? Where is your heart? The Celtics have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good. All right. Monster. I think I'm perfect tonight. Twelve the seconds line, left man. in the third quarter of the game. Jefferson kicks to Oladipo. And they call an illegal screen here. And had the right idea there in calling for the screen. But he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. But yeah, as a big fellow, that's the thing, Greg. You got to be quick in setting those screens. If you get a little lazy, you get called for it. Irving for three. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And as we end the third quarter, a double All right. deficit will make it tough to come back. Indiana out in front, leading by 14. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Indiana. Do I get back in the game? That is the question. Now let's listen into the huddle of Brad Stevens. Piece by piece, chip away. See if you can't next time we get together. All right, we're going to chip away. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. We'll play some lockdown D if possible. 14. They've got Robinson. And Stevenson is out there with Oladipo. And there's Miles Turner. And it's Jefferson in at the center filling out the middle. So that's the group out there for Indiana. From 12 feet out. Great tee that time from the monster. Well, that's giving him too much space from mid-range. It doesn't hurt him there. But they can't keep doing that. Stolen by Robinson. Oh, God, what the hell? Come on, team. I'm trying to force it. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, hmm. and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. And the Pacers with the longest standing ownership in the NBA. And that's a lot to be proud of for Pacers fans. All right, I'm sitting down. I may not get back in. Well, let's see. A uh, minute left, I got back in. So. 103 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Pacers. That's my double pick. Boost from the strong play of their bench. The, the subs came in and did their job. Those points off the bench were key to their victory. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. 
You always need role players to step up and help. That guy there was no camped in there, no. As everything seemed to be clicking for Al Jefferson. Camped in the three zone. Oh, and he doesn't get called for it. He did it all for them, and you can't help but admire that kind of effort. Wells kicks to Horford. The monster passes to Horford. Wells with it. Now defended by Oladipo. Here's the monster. Get it, Horford. Put it back up. Here's the monster. Back to Brown. Oh, my God. So no problem for Jesus, that's terrible. That is freaking terrible. Well, I'm consistently bad, at least. I can say that. Okay. And a few more fans. Get push up towards eighty thousand. Man, tonight was horrible. Boo Boo couldn't shoot. Yep. Couldn't rebound. Yep. Too many. I had an A minus. Yeah. Would you stop agreeing with me? What you want me to say? You played great. Okay, you played great. Thanks, Boo Boo. <clears throat> well, let's see if I get a call or anything, or is this going to be it? Oh, by getting a call. Let me see who it is. It's Brian. Uh, the Main Street News gig is still available. Like I said, doesn't pay much, but I think you should do it. All right, fine. I'll put a t shirt in your closet that you'll have to put on and wear around town okay cool and that's it <clears throat> yep you just wear it around a bit and you'll get paid might want to talk to the main street news guy while you're at it i have a deal from adidas check it out and let me know what you think uh per compensation per park game 60 per nba Let's negotiate higher compensation. Tell them I want more money per game. Cool. I'll let them know when I hear back. I'll let you know when I hear back. Okay. Yeah, I want more money. Right, let's see what the Coach D's uh, saying here. Sup, Coach? Let me guess you have good news for me. Uh, oh, sup, Coach? Anyway, let me get right to it. You've got another bump in minutes coming next game, DJ. You're being you're really becoming an important part of our rotation. Glad to hear it. And uh, you've earned it, DJ. Keep up the hard work. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, we will catch you next time on A Noob Plays NBA 2K18. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, feel free. Appreciate it. Thanks.